Hi art friends! Hi art friends! Okay, so today we have got some Arteza watercolours that we want to review. But first! <laughs> but first, yeah, huge disclaimer. Most people who I've seen reviewing Arteza things They've been sent these products for free. We used our own coin to buy this. We're not big enough to be sponsored, so we'd buy them. Nah, I don't even think that's the case. I've seen channels way smaller than us that have been sponsored by them. But I'm not sure how much you can trust a review when it's been sent for free. I want to give my honest opinion on what I think of these. These right here. Because it's a 12 cent. I don't know who this company are. I don't have to make them happy. If you're watching from this company, I don't have to make you happy. <laughs> Unless you pay me, feel free to pay me a lot of money. Do so you think we should like bust into these and give them a try then? First of all, first impressions of the packaging. I just wanted to say, this is very unusual packaging for watercolours. Yeah, yeah it is. It, like, it's come with like a plastic kind of sleeve. I remember a lot of like childhood toys coming in packaging yeah, like Yeah, it, it's kind of like how um, the old like uh, Polly Pockets did, they always yeah, came with a card sleeve. Yeah, that's what Yeah, maybe they've done it to try and keep like the water brush in or whatever. <laughs> Let's find out. Is it an unnecessary use of plastic? I don't know. Feel free to let me know, guys. Hashtag save the environment. <laughs> well, the bristles, they've been glued, so you have to like break them. Oh god, yeah, I see what you mean. I think it's just been, it's got like a really thin layer of glue to preserve the tip so it doesn't yeah, get like Yeah, to frayed. keep like the shape, because uh, paintbrushes usually come with something like that. So it's in a box. Okay, so there is a box. And a tin. Metal tin. Did it really need to be cling filmed? Hashtag save the cling film. <laughs> Well, you've got to admit, all of this packaging, it certainly makes sure it arrives safe, which I guess is good when you buy an art supply. You want it to arrive in one piece. We did an art box review once. We won't go into too much detail, but we did an art review box once, and one of the art supplies arrived broken. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Having said that, it is dented. <laughs> is it? <laughs> you see the dent in there? We paid money for this. It'll buff out, it's fine. Actually, it won't. <laughs> Jeez, that's a big dent. Okay, we'll show you that properly <laughs> soon. Okay, let's get in closer. Well, how much did we pay for this first? Because, like, that's yes. going to come into it. A 12 pack of watercolours uh -huh. costs, in this country, £21, which I think is around, at the minute, $25-$26, I think. It is a nice little tin it comes in. Points for tins. Let me grab the cat. <laughs> My god. Let me grab the camera so you can see this up close. Hold on. The little dent we were talking Oh, there we go. It's on the Arteza logo. Can you just see how the light catches it there? There's a tiny dent just on this right side. But the watercolours themselves, I think, are all okay. That's something that I appreciate named colours. That's really useful to me. Adam is colorblind. Well done, hun. So having like named colors is always a huge bonus, which sounds like a pretty basic thing for when it comes to art supplies, but we've reviewed so many things in the past where they've been like number coded and Adam's just constantly like, what's number two? What's number three? What's number four? <laughs> oh, that's, what's a number five? that's a beautiful shade of number three. Mm. But yeah, named colors always gets a, uh, a thumbs up from me. The previous RTs, a gouache set that we did a review on all, even the 60 of them, they all had names, so that's always a uh, a very big plus. Uh-oh. They've been disturbed. Okay, so one is there a way to figure out which one this one is? Okay, immediately because like one's like fallen out, let me pull Yeah, this yeah, go out. for it, yeah. Because this is all right. first impressions. This guys. is very much like nitpicking. If it was just me, I'd be alright with it. Okay. What I want to see is, because that pan's fallen out... Oh, okay. Oh, God. <laughs> can you tell where that pan that's fallen out goes? It goes. Oh, my God. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for this. Oh, my God. Right, what have we got? I'll go across, shall I? Yellow, yellow. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Those... We were doing so good. Actually, let me check that... Well, it's not the bottom row, because they're all in, so that's fine. I mean, maybe pick up the pan that has fallen out and just double-check that it hasn't printed on any colouring for... Is there any way to identify that colour? There is nothing on it at all. Okay. On all sides, it's I just... mean, not all watercolours do mm. that anyway. Yeah, that's exactly, so. yeah, but it is, it's blank on all sides, which is fine, that's okay. I mean, you can write it on in, like, Posca pen or something. Now, I am going to take a guess. This is just, uh, this is a guess, because, like, these three look so similar. Those two practically blend together with they my They do look very similar, yeah. those two. So, this is purely guesswork. I'm going to put it here. I think it goes there. 
Okay. Based on like my color vision, mm -hmm. I think that's wrong. Okay. Where do you think so... it goes? Then? Do you think it goes before this one? No. Do you think it goes there? Yeah, I think it goes on the. Oh, on the end. Yeah. Oh, okay. There we Even go. Even if it was just like a little number printed on the bottom, you know, like how they've got like these little cords printed on the color swatches. Yeah, I mean, like Steph says, that is kind of nitpicky. I mean, if you wanted to, you're given the names and the numbers. If you wanted to, if you use like a Posca pen or something, you can write them on yourself. But it's just something nice to have. But for like, I don't know, 20 odd quid. One thing I do really like is that you can take this out and give yourself more mixing room. That's pretty cool. I always appreciate it because I water my watercolors down oh, yeah, so he much. He adds a lot of water. <laughs> Any kind of extra mixing palette is always a plus for me. Also worth noting that the do a way bigger pan set than this. I think it's like a 24 set. Yeah, something um, crazy. Yeah, yeah. But on English Amazon, it wasn't like available. A so. story of my life, geez. <laughs> so we ended up getting this one. There's also watercolor tubes at the cell in like a similar box to the gouache that we got. Yeah. With mm -hmm. like about they 60 do. tubes in yeah, there. Yeah, really. It's like a really big box thing. And uh, as we say, we'll give these a honest try now. As always, like we said in the previous video, is that if there's any more Arteza stuff you want us to try and use, or any other brand that you've been curious of, and you'd like an honest review, just drop us a comment and yeah, let us know. Yeah, is there any other like obscure brands that you guys are like curious about? The paints seem to be a bit sort of like skew in the pans. <laughs> there is no impression of you today, is there? Oh my god. I'm, I'm just really having a, a close, intricate <laughs> look at things. These paints are offered to clear five degree angle. <laughs> <laughs> Just before I swatch them, I want to do a test to see how well they can stay like. Oh yeah, okay. Like, pretend this is in my bag and I'm going. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm having to run around town. Time to paint. Oh, it's done pretty well actually. Yeah. Hey, they're all in place. Even I gave the, that good shaking around. Even the one I plugged back in on the right, that stayed there. Yeah, so kudos to them. I think like even like there's some really expensive paints called like schmink paints. Mm -hmm. um, even they can be quite a nightmare for like coming loose. So. Yeah, top marks for that. That's awesome. Good job, Arteza. You can really beat these up. It's a shame that <laughs> oh that one had like fell out because. Uh, oh, that's okay. It, it, they it's are in well. pretty strong. Well, that was a big swatching adventure. It was going all right, and then you saw, can you explain where you went off the rails? Okay, I did like my first lot of swatches, and I mm -hmm. thought they weren't coming out very like pigmented. I basically added like a ton more water to like the pants to try and really get the colors to like activate. Yeah. And then a bunch of the colors were coming out stronger, so I went back over that red in the swatch, and at yeah, first Yeah, that one like, does look really good, yeah. Yeah, it was a really watery color like at first, but then I've managed to get that color. I clapped brush in blue as well, very um, nice. It tends to be a thing more so with like student paints. Right. There's more like binder used in it, so there's like less pigment. So you've just got to work a bit harder to get like that colour. But it's nice to know that the colour is there, you've just got to... Just got to work a little bit for it. I don't know if the colours were meant to even be like slightly similar or whatever, but they're very different to... The card, do you mean? Yeah, the card colours, like the periwinkle blue. That's There's like an ultramarine on the card. Periwinkle's blue is a cute name. <laughs> it's a really cute name, but it's nice having the card in there. So Especially for me, yeah. Yeah, especially for Adam, that's something that's appreciated. Something that I did have a quick look at online was to see if they do replacement pans. Oh, if you run out. Currently, I couldn't find any. So the closest thing I could find to it is say like you end up loving like this watercolor set and you use up like an entire color. Yeah. They do watercolor tubes. So that might be like the closest thing. And like refill it kind of thing. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, yeah. I haven't reviewed like the tubes. So I don't know if the quality is like basically the same or mm. how nicely they turn into like pans. Maybe we should try that at some point. Hey, let's try it. Hey guys, <laughs> you think that's a good idea? Let us know. Would be down for that. Oh, there's something I want to share as well. One thing that I wanted to share really quick with this. The oh, brush the pen, water brush pen, yeah. Is when I was filling it up. Uh -huh. Again, it's sort of a nitpicky thing, but if you're out and about, you might struggle. The water little well thing is quite small. 
Well, that's I imagine it's like a travel so Yeah, that's the, that's the only thing, but I guess if you're buying it for travel use, you're probably going to be used to that anyway, so. If you just take some water along, I think you'll be fine, but I was that, just surprised. I thought you were going to say it leaks or something. No, no, it's fine. It, if anything, the seal on it's really, really good. I don't, right. I don't think it would leak at all, no. It's got one of the best, like, um, threaded seals, unlike a water brush pen I think we've ever used. I mean, I think. It's really good. Yeah, it's a very good water brush pen, to be honest. Yeah. I wanted to have a quick look to see what competitors there are. Maybe it's not the fairest comparison because at retail price, a lot of things are roughly at about the same price as this. Yes. Yeah. But on Amazon, there are like versions of like, there's a Cotman Sketcher set, which is about like half the price with like 12 colors. It's not a metal tin, but it's like a plastic foldy box and it comes with like a brush. There's also like a Van Gogh series, um, also goes for about like half the price of what this I one currently so. okay. does. So I don't think that they're necessarily like terrible pants, but I do think that they've got some really tough competitors that are basically doing what they're doing. For half of the price. Not necessarily half the price, because at retail value, mm. it is the same. That might be more so on like Amazon's part or like the sellers or Oh, whatever. okay, yes, yeah, I understand. So I, I won't try and like mark them down too much for that. If I was gonna like buy something between like a Windsor and Newton or like an Arteza, I'd probably go for like the Windsor and Newton. Do, now, is that purely because, though, they're more of an established name? They're more of, like, an established name. Yeah. And I just feel like I trust them slightly more for when it comes to, like, good quality paints. Okay, okay, yeah. Well, we all have, like, our own opinions and bias. I but think... I haven't, like, painted anything properly I was just yet. about I've to only say, yeah. them, so I'll, I'll see how I get on with them. Let's actually use them, and that opinion may change. Hmm. Okay, so for sketching, right, I really like, believe it or not, I really like the blues and the greens. So I wanted to try and do something really moody, so I've gone with this this time, which is a far cry from Thick Parrot, who I'm glad to see the end of, but that's what I want to go with. And I've been inspired by what you did last time, because I looking at them since we've got like a few like bright colours, I thought maybe it'd be fun to do like a little colourful bird. Where is he? Do you have high hopes for the bit for the video? Well, I hope you have high hopes for the video. Do you have high hopes for the paint? <laughs> Sorry, I've got dry eyes and the burning right now. Oh, honey. Well, what I'll do is I'll take the reins and I'll start painting first. Okay. You just know. sort out your eyeballs, dear. I wanted to get some of like your first impressions because you haven't used these my yet. First, my first impression was confused because it, they're upside down. Well, let's try and use the, oh, oh, oh dear, look at them. Hmm. Yeah, you've done a good job of like activating that there. Yeah, because, uh, what can I say? I'm a, I'm a watercolour expert. I'm not a watercolour <laughs> wow. expert. Oh my God. That's a statement that I can't back up, unfortunately, but I've got some nice blue eyes. Let's darken it, because I want them to have quite darkish hair. We're going for the moody look. Oh, you're doing blue hair. Yeah. And then maybe, I'll find a way to mix in the green somehow. Guys, you know me, I tend to just make it up as I go along, so we, we, we will see. Ooh. Ooh, well, hmm. Hmm. I, uh, I kind of like it so far, you know? Well, that's good news. They activate really well. The pigment's pretty good. I like that they feel a bit more creamy in consistency than uh, the Prima Confections watercolours. Yes, yeah, they do. That's true. The Prima mm. Confection... Ugh. Prima Confections watercolours. <laughs> Is that a hard word, dear? <laughs> the, the kind of like rocky feeling. They feel really sort of gritty. God, and... What a scathing review. <laughs> they feel like rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Although they come in such like quirky, cute little colour palettes that they're quite like a fun novel. No, type. you're getting suckered into the marketing, I know, dear. It, it's totally like worked on me. Uh, let's add those in. Um, I could do the shadows in this blue. The periwinkle. Periwinkle, just because she sounds adorable. I'm all for periwinkle blue. And we could try just doing some uh, some shadows on it as well, because I'm hoping I can I'm hoping I can make it a bit lighter. So far it looks very similar to me. <laughs> ah! Why is it so dark? Oh well, but we'll deal. <laughs> we'll deal. And that's not the that's not the paint's fault, that's me being stupid. This will really put to the test, because I'm not really someone who ever really uses watercolours and light washes. I do. Oh, dear. <laughs> Some <laughs> heavy cleaning going on here. 
I may have got blue over a lot of the paints. It's all right. <laughs> but... <laughs> okay, so this is going to be in shadow too. That's still very light, so let's mix it out again. The handle be in shadow. Well, that bit of the handle be in shadow. That's pretty good. Uh, under the neck will. And... Are you happy with how light you're getting it so far? Mm, yeah, I think so. I think it's pretty good so far, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yes, we're in we're in the good zone now. Just he normally works in like such light tones that you can barely see that he's even put anything on the paper. Well then I can say I've done a masterpiece and you can't see it, so you can't <laughs> you can't argue with me. <laughs> like, oh, look at this, it's so good, and the people are just like, yeah, sure. How's it going, brush my guff? Oh, before I forget, because I've already accidentally sat on these a bunch of times. <laughs> oh, God. God. <laughs> I ordered some more red bubble stickers. Uh, there's some, like, pretty old designs, but I've put some of, like, my new ones. <laughs> but also new on. ones. <laughs> <laughs> there's a picture of Bumble the guinea pig saying, everything is worrisome. That is a mood. <laughs> Oh, and Monty and some of your traditional art. And a fancy new logo, by the way. Yeah, a new icon. Which looks beautiful. Mm. And an alpaca friend. And that one, which was a collab between me and Adam of our guinea pigs. Yeah, everything looks cute, guys. I'll put a link on screen if you want to check out the new stuff on our Redbubble store. Very good stuff, very cute. Please buy things. I'm waiting for like some other Redbubble things to come in as well, so I'll show you those when they okay. arrive. Well, back to business. Back to business. It's time for you to try out these delectable artesia paints that I may have got blue in like half of, but just ignore oh, it's that. Okay. <laughs> I'm used to you doing that. <laughs> so far, I'm actually super impressed with them, actually. <laughs> I've just realized as well, the what the pencil that I've drawn this in is a watercolor pencil, so I'm oh, sort of like no. Oh, honey, no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of having a little paint with like the pencil I've drawn it in, so that's worth noting. Mixed media, hey, that's another bonus. They work with mixed media, honey. Okay, Swatch Bay, what is the uh, the review? Okay, I don't know whether this is like a personal test thing, so take it with a pinch of salt. <laughs> oh, like gosh. you should all my reviews, don't take everything I say as gospel. Everyone has their own opinions on things. True. But I'm really not a fan of this fun green. The green? Yeah, it's such like a murky colour. Pond water green. The jade has like a really nice sort of emerald look to it. Yeah, I liked the jade the, the jade one too. <laughs> but this one, it, it looks like it's been mixed with like the sepia brown or something. It, mm. I'm not a massive fan of that colour, but maybe that's just me being nitpicky. Cause no, you're I'm entitled. I'm funny about shades of green at the no, best of times. This is a review <laughs> and your opinion is valued in this review, dear. I'd honestly, if it was like me going out and say I had like some birthday money and I had about 20 quid to spend, mm. I'd honestly carefully like weigh up all the different options because there are a lot of options out there on the market. Even in this price range, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, there is bearing in mind that it comes with like a water brush. The brush pen, I have to admit, using it, it is very good. It's a little bit loose on like the end with putting the cap on yeah, the back. Oh, so the cap's hard to so post on top. It's a little bit of a wobbly fit. It didn't leak and I thought the flow was good though. I won't show you the whole thing, but if you just look on the dress here, I mean, I know it's very light, but I've never had, I've never, I mean, and this is weird saying, right? But I've never had paint that goes on so smooth and dries in such a nice solid color. I don't know whether that's just because I've got better at watercolor recently, but I was very, I was very impressed with how they dried and how they uh, mixed as well. And this is what I did with them. Oh. <laughs> Look how cute he is! I think this was quite a successful experiment, dear. I mean, yeah, okay, there are the pros and cons. Uh, you could probably get better for your money. They're all right. <laughs> <laughs> Any other art supplies you'd like us to review, let us know down below. <laughs> yeah, don't forget to comment down below, guys, and we'll see you very soon for another Doodle Date video. Doodle Date! Bye, guys! Bye-bye.